Putin's warning to the West attempts to turn India away is pointless. Hello and welcome to Newsfest at this, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. Russian President Vladimir Putin has issued a stern warning to the West, saying that any attempts to turn India away from Russia are fatal and counterproductive. Putin made the remarks at a K-12 speech in the Russian Black Sea resort of Sochi, where he also praised Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his leadership and independence. Putin's statement comes amid growing tensions between Russia and the West over a range of issues, including the conflict in Ukraine, the Navalny case, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, and the cyber attacks on the U.S. institutions. The West has imposed several rounds of sanctions on Russia, targeting its energy sector, financial institutions, and individuals. Russia has responded with re measures and accused the West of meddling in its internal efforts and tried to contain its raids. One of the areas where the West has tried to exert pressure on Russia is its relation with India, a key strategic partner and a major buyer of Russian arms and energy. India has faced criticism from some Western countries for counting to purchase Russian oil at discounted price after the sanctions were imposed on Moscow. India has also maintained its defense cooperation with Russia, despite the threats of U.S. sanctions under the Countering America's Advertises Through Sanctions Act, CAA TSE. However, Putin has made it clear that he does not see India as a pawn in the geopolitical game between Russia and the West. He said that India is an independent and powerful country that acts in its own interests and does not succumb to external pressure. He also said that India and Russia have a long-standing and mutually beneficial partnership that is based on trust, respect and common values. Putin also expressed his admiration for Modi, who he said had led India to greater economic growth and social development. He said that India, like Russia, has no borders as Indians are making their mark in almost all parts of the globe. He also said that India deserves more representation in the UN Security Council and, and supported the idea of reforming the world body gradually. Putin's speech reflects his desire to strengthen the ties between Russia and India, which have been tested by the challenging global dynamics and the rise of new actors. While India has diversified its foreign policy and engaged more with the US, Europe, Japan and Australia, it has also maintained its strategic autonomy and balanced its relations with Russia and China. Russia, on the other hand, has sought to expand its influence in Asia and Africa, while also reaching out to countries like Turkey, Iran and Pakistan. The challenge for both Russia and India is to find ways to cooperate on regional and global issues such as Afghanistan, terrorism, climate change and multilateral Naturalism, while also managing their differences on some matters such as human rights, democracy, and India's nuclear program. The two countries have established several mechanisms for dialogue and consultation, such as annual semi, the strategic dialogue, the intergovernmental commission, and various working groups. They've also participated in multilateral forums such as BRICS, RIC, g and and EAS. The future of Russia-India relations will depend on how well they can adapt to the changing world order and protect their common interests. Putin's warning to the West is a signal that he values India as a real partner and a friend, and that he will not let any external forces undermine their bond. Additionally, the history and cultural ties between Russia and India, which date back to the Soviet era and non-aligned movement, and how they have influenced their current relationship. The economic and trade aspects of the Russia-India partnership such as bilateral trade volume, the major sectors of cooperation, the joint ventures, and the investment opportunities. The defense and security dimensions of Russia-India partnership, such as joint military exercise, the defense procurement deals, the nuclear energy cooperation, and the counter-terrorism cooperation. The challenges and opportunities for the Russia-India partnership in the Indo-Pacific region, such as the rule of China, the COD and ASEAN, how they can work together to promote stability and prosperity in the region. This was our news analysis for today. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share this video.